Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Sunday School Online Video Worship. As you can see, I'm here at church on the third floor. I just wanted to remind you guys what church looks like. It's been a while since you've been here. Uh, we are thinking about you. We are praying about you. But until we get Sunday School back open, we will continue to do these videos. So with that said, let's get started. Hi, Sunday School boys and girls, Dougie here. You know what? I just got some bad news. I just heard that Ned, my BFF, is leaving Sunday School. He's not going to be doing the Sunday School videos anymore. I'm so bummed. And guess what also? The Sunday School director came up to me and he told me that I need to stay in Sunday School a little bit longer. Because you know what? You know what he said? He said, I still have things to learn in Sunday school. So I'm going to be in Sunday school a little bit longer, and I'm going to be introducing the Sunday school praise song. So boys and girls, stand up, get ready to praise. Here we go. my ground I'm in the army of God now I'm not alone there's many more we're gonna change the world I'm not afraid how can I be my God is here he's with me I shine a light a light for you in everything I do we're gonna change the world we're gonna change the world the army of God is on the march again hey, hey. We're on the march again hey, hey. We're on the march again I straighten up, I stand my ground I'm in the army of God now I'm not alone, there's many more We're gonna change the world I'm not afraid, how can I be? My God is here, He's with me I shine a light, a light for you In everything I do We're gonna change the world, we're gonna change the world The army of God is on the march again We're on the march again on the march again we're gonna change the world we're gonna change the world the army of god is on the march again we're on the march again we're on the march again Have you got your belt of truth? I got that. The breastplate of righteousness. I got that. On your feet, put the gospel of peace. I got that. Hold up the shield of faith. I got that. Put on the helmet of salvation. I got that. Lift high the sword of the spirit. I got that. And now you're wearing the army of God. Cause we're part of the army now. Yeah. We're gonna change the world. We're gonna change the world. The army of God is on the march again. Hey, hey. We're on the march again. Hey, hey. We're on the march again. We're gonna change the world. We're gonna change the world. The army of God is on the march again. Hey, hey. We're on the march again. Hey, hey. We're on the march again.
All right, Sunday School Kids, another awesome performance by our praise team. Thank you, praise team. Uh, so we're going to start with today's lesson. Today's lesson is titled, Zeal for God. And we're going to talk more about the, what the word zeal means. Before we go any further, though, let's uh, start with a word of prayer, and I'll pray for you. Uh, so let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, thank you again so much for giving me this opportunity uh, to come share your word with the children, Lord. Uh, Lord, I really pray uh, that we can uh, see the kids and be face to face with one another uh, very soon, Lord. But I just want to thank you for giving us this uh, um, means of communicating through the video and online worship, Lord. I just want to say thank you for that. Lord, I want to pray for the children as they listen today, Lord, uh, that they can uh, uh, keep focused on the word today, keep focused on you. Uh, keep focus on listening to the message, Lord. Lord, I know it's, uh, even though it's hard uh, being at home and they're seeing everyone come back to church, Lord, I just pray that you remind the children that uh, you're still there for them, Lord, and that they can uh, rely on you, trust in you, and uh, that we can, uh, we will one day see each other soon face to face. Uh, and I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Okay, uh, so today's uh, lesson comes from Psalms 132 verses 1 through 5, and we're going to read that right now. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and get them out. Psalms 132 verses 1 through 5. I'm going to read it so you can listen along or you can read along with me if you have your Bibles ready. So let's read that now. Lord, remember David in all his self-denial. He swore an oath to the Lord. He made a vow to the Mighty One of Jacob. I will not enter my house or go to my bed. I will allow no sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids till I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. Amen. All right, so we're going to talk more about that lesson. But right now, I have to get back to church. Uh, so while I'm going back to church, I'm going to have you uh, boys and girls watch this video of Dougie. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. And then after the video, I'll catch up with you guys later and I'll be at church. Here we go. for this road trip this is gonna be great I got my snacks I got my drinks we're gonna play games all throughout the car ride but Dougie you always fall asleep in the car no, not this time I'm gonna stay awake we're gonna have so much fun two hours later Dougie hey Dougie 
Are you sleeping? With your eyes open? That's so creepy. Dougie, get up. It's time to go to Disneyland. Disneyland. Okay, Dad, I'm ready. Dougie, get up. It's time to go to Sunday school. Oh, Sunday school. I'm sleeping, Dad. Dougie, it's 8 o'clock. It's time to go to bed. Not yet, Mom. The Angels game's on. It's in the ninth inning. They're close. Two hours later. Dougie, it's 10 o'clock already. It's time to go to bed. Mom, I'm still watching the game. It's in extra innings. Mike Trout is up. Leave me alone. Two hours later. <sighs> Dougie, it's past midnight. Go to bed now. Mom, this is the greatest Angels game ever. It's in the 33rd inning. It's almost done. Dougie, it's 8 o'clock. Don't forget to do your quiet time before you go to bed. Oh, oh Mom, I'm so tired. I'm just going to go to bed. I'm going to skip quiet time today. Now you see we finished up the book of Deuteronomy and we're moving on to the book of Psalms. Now Psalms, as you remember, is a collection of songs and prayers. There's 150 of them and almost half of them were written by King David himself. The Psalms is a collection of writings written by people expressing praise for God, worshiping God, crying out to God, and their confessions to God. Now on to our uh, lesson today, it comes from Psalm 132, like I said, but to further explain it, I gotta move into King David's balcony in his palace, so here we go. All right, kids, so here I am, I'm King David, I'm in his palace, I'm sitting on the balcony, and we talked about this in, last, in uh, one of last year's messages. King David arrives, arrives in Jerusalem, he brings with him the Ark of the Covenant, now, if you remember, the Ark of the Covenant is, it's basically the symbol of God on earth. It's God's representation on earth. So it's very, very important. And King David, he's in his beautiful palace. He's on the balcony and he's looking across the city of Jerusalem and he sees the Ark of the Covenant. And where is the Ark? It's in a tent. So King David is in his beautiful palace and this Ark, which is supposed to represent God, is in a tent. And that makes King David feel bad. So bad that he wants, to, he wants to fix that problem. He has this passion to fix that wrong. Uh, and as we read in the verses, he's so, he's so ready, he's had so passionate, he's got so much energy to take care of this problem, fix, finding a home for the ark, that he won't go into his house, he won't go into his bed, he won't even sleep until this is done. That's how much he cares about this. So recently, my son had a school project uh, called the Passion Project. And this is where the kids gave a presentation on what they had a lot of passion for. Or maybe you could say what they had a lot of zeal for. So the kids uh, gave their presentations. Some of them talked about playing computer games or video games. Some of them uh, talked about which sport they liked playing the most. Some of them liked talking about what musical instrument they had uh, passion for, or what they had a lot of zeal for. Now my other son, Brayden, as you know, he has a zeal, he has a love for baseball. Anything baseball related, he'd get really excited about. Now, usually in the morning, it's very hard to get him to wake up. But if I tell him we're gonna go practice baseball in the morning, He's up, he's ready to go without even me having to wake him up or tell him it's time to get ready, it's time to go. That's how much zeal he has for baseball. Kind of like in the video that you watched when we watched Dougie uh, compared to when he was sleeping and getting ready to go to Disneyland and getting ready to go to Sunday school. He had a lot of zeal for Disneyland, but not so much for Sunday school. Or also, like when he was staying up late at night to watch the finish up the baseball game, he was able to stay awake for that. 
But when it was time to do quiet time, he was too tired and he, he didn't want to stay up. He went to bed. So it kind of shows you examples of what zeal can do, uh, how much energy and motivation it can do for you when you have that zeal for a certain something. So David plans to build a proper house for God, a temple, something suitable for God, something suitable to put the Ark of the Covenant in. And these verses describe how David feels when he's planning this, how much passion, how much energy, how much zeal he has to carry this out. He, he, he's, he, he doesn't even want to sleep until this is done. He plans the temple, he gathers all the supplies to build the temple. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know if he actually didn't sleep until all this was done, or if he did sleep. It may be, uh, it may be just an expression to show just how much passion, how much zeal he had to carry this plan out. But I really think it carries the point across on just how much, how badly he wanted to do this. Now, if you remember from past message, or uh, I'll just give you a brief overview, we won't go into too much today. But unfortunately, David is not the one to build the temple. It's actually God wants his son Solomon uh, to oversee finally building the actual temple itself. But David is the one that starts the planning. And he's the one that has this passion that he's so, he wants to do it so badly that he's not even going to sleep until this, until this is taken care of. So this brings us to our key word for today. And the key word is zeal. Now, zeal means having great energy or enthusiasm to do something. And when I read this passage, I thought, wow, King David has a lot of zeal that he doesn't even want to sleep until this temple is planned, this temple for God is planned. Because, you know, to me, sleeping is so important. It's, it's important to, to Dougie, it's important to Ned, uh, it's important to me. I mean, on some days when I uh, finish work, that's the only thing I really look forward to is I'm so tired at the end of the day, I can't wait to get into my bed and sleep or take a nap and rest my eyes. And maybe you kids have felt that way too. Maybe on days that you're super busy or uh, you do a lot of stuff, you get home and you're really tired and you want to sleep. So that's how much zeal that King David had to plan this temple as he didn't even want to sleep until this was done. That's a lot of zeal. So guess what? God has a lot of zeal for us. He has, a, he has a lot of zeal to take care of us, to listen to us, to listen to our prayers, and Jesus does too. So I ask you guys, what do you have zeal for? Do you have zeal to come to church and worship God? Now I know you're at home, and uh, trust me, I know it's hard to worship from home. It's not the same being uh, worshiping at home versus being at church. It's a lot different. And like I said earlier, we can't wait till uh, you kids are able to come back to Sunday school, come back to church, uh, so we can all worship together in person. Uh, but until that happens, you know, what do you have zeal for? When you wake up Sunday morning, is the first thing you think about, oh, I can't wait to watch the Sunday school online video to, to praise and worship God. Uh, do you look forward to that? Do you look forward to, uh, you know, the coming week on Sunday, you go, I can't wait to see uh, what the message they have in store for us uh, this week is. If you answer yes, that's so awesome. Now, I've heard from some of your parents that uh, a lot of you kids are watching our videos and uh, you're really enjoying uh, what we have to present to you. But uh, I just want to make sure that you're focused on the right thing. When you uh, look forward to watching our Sunday School Online videos, are you looking forward to praising God and hearing his word and hearing what the message is uh, for that day? Or are you just looking forward to seeing what cool Lego videos Pastor David has created, what kind of cool animations he's done, or uh, what's in store next for our favorite characters, Ned, or now it's Fred, or Dougie, and, or Mr. Dugloss, or what they, have, uh, what they have to offer? Now, don't get me wrong, you know, the pastors, myself, uh, we, we're putting a lot of time and effort and we're having fun making these videos for you. We want, we want to make it entertaining. We want to make it exciting for you guys to watch. But I just want to remind you that where, where your zeal lies. Does, is your zeal to, to be entertained and, and watch our funny videos? Or is your zeal to be praising God, worshiping God, listening to His Word uh, that day? So just make sure that your heart's in the right place. Make sure you're focused on the right thing. And that'll bring us to the weekly challenge.
So my weekly challenge for you kids this week is, it's a pretty simple one, it's a pretty easy one. I want you to make a list of three things. Now you could write it down on a piece of paper or you could even just think about it in your head. But I want you to make a list of three things, three things that you have zeal for. Three things. And be honest, I want you to tell me, uh, after you're done writing that list, I want you to tell me what that number one thing on that list is. And if it's not God, then we should think about that. We should pray about that. Because God should be the number one thing in our lives. And that should be the number one thing on that list that we just wrote. We should have zeal the most for God. Just like King David did uh, in having, uh, with his zeal, to build that temple for God. Uh, so let's pray about that. Before we move on, I'm going to uh, just read a verse from Revelations chapter 3. This is Revelations chapter 3, verse 19. Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline. So be zealous and repent. So in this verse, God is reminding us, reminding us all to have zeal for him, just like we learned in the today's message. And with that said, we'll end in prayer, and then I'll pass it on to Pastor David and he'll finish with the Lord's Prayer. So let's close our eyes, bow our heads, and I'll pray. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you again for giving this time uh, to come speak with the children, Lord, on zeal and having zeal for you, Lord. Lord, I pray for the kids, Lord, that uh, they can keep God number, uh, keep you number one in their hearts, Lord. Lord, as they've been uh, staying home away from Sunday school for uh, about three months now, Lord, just I pray that uh, that you be with them, Lord. Lord, I ask that you. Give uh, our pastors, give our leaders the guidance and wisdom uh, on, uh, on knowing how to bring the Sunday school kids back to church safely, Lord. Uh, Lord, I ask that the kids uh, just continue to, to yearn for you, to read, uh, read the Bible, do their quiet time, Lord. Uh, and I pray all these things in your son's name. Amen. Yeah, I'll see you next week. High five, teacher. Though. Uh, thank you for the message. Remember Sunday school, we need to have zeal for the Lord, and also um, make sure you do that weekly challenge. VBS is just around the corner, so everyone keep praying. We're really excited, we're praying for you. Remember, there's three ways that you can register. Um, click on the banner on the website, cornerstonetv.com, click on the link below, or finally, you can pause this video and scan this QR code, and it'll take you right to the registration form. All right, Sunday School, we'll see you next week, but before we end, let's all bow our heads, close our eyes, and end in the Lord's Prayer. Let's pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, we'll see you next week, Sunday School.